Today, we'll create a logo, animate a video intro, and add intricate sound design to create the following animation in Canva. Let's get straight into it. Open Canva and create a new design. I'm using a 16 by nine video crop, but feel free to follow along in whatever dimensions suit your project. Let's first change the background color of the canvas. With the page selected, open the color selection tool and choose one of the gradients from the bottom. Click on the color tool again so we can edit the gradient colors. The key here is to keep it subtle so we don't distract from the main elements of the design. Design. Now let's get started on the logo. Open the elements tab and select a shape of your choice for the icon. For the opening scene of the intro, we need to display this shape with a hollow center. So let's open the border panel and change the border weight to 100. Select the border color panel and choose your main brand color. Then select the main color panel and choose no color. Now that we have our opening scene, let's duplicate the page and continue with the logo design. Select the shape and remove the border, then change the main color to the brand color as before. It's important not to change the position or size of the shape between these two scenes. Open the app section and search for the Type Extrude app. This app allows you to add a 3D extrusion to your typography, making it ideal for creating unique logo designs. Type your initials into this section, and as you will see, we can preview the effect in the bottom section. Let's change the font to Briarwood and make minor adjustments to the parameters here. Of course, you can experiment with different combinations for your own design. Click on Add to Design, Resize, and center it over the shape layer. Now duplicate the page, select the logo layers, then hold Shift and move them to the left. Open the Elements tab and select a line from the Shapes Library. Rotate the line to 90 degrees, then resize to the same height as the logo. Open the Text tool, select Add a Heading, type out your brand name, and reposition it to the right of the line. Next, add a subheading, type out your tagline, and change the font to something eye-catching, like the FB wall font. Resize and change the color to something that suits your brand. Open the Elements tab and search for a stroke line. Select this one, then change the color to white and reposition it so it sits just below the tagline. Time to start animating. Let's set the duration of all pages to one second and preview what we have. Let's spruce things up a little. Open the first page, copy the shape, and paste it onto the second page, making sure to center it on the canvas. Hold Alt on your keyboard, then enlarge the shape until it is larger than the canvas. Hover between pages 1 and 2 to select the Transitions panel and place a Match and Move transition between the pages. Open page 1 again and select the shape Open the Animations panel, select the Succession Animation, making sure On Enter is selected. Open Page 2, select the Position tab, and in the Layers panel, select the Text layer. Open the Animation tab, and select the Blur Animation. Let's preview the opening scenes. Nice. Let's move on to page three. Place a match and move transition between pages two and three. Select the line shape and give it a baseline animation. Make sure to select a direction that animates from bottom to top. Select the heading layer and give it a wipe animation from left to right. Make sure all animations are set to on enter. Give the tagline layer a typewriter animation then select the stroke line and give it a wipe animation from left to right. Let's preview what we have. We're getting close. We still need to fix the timing and add our sound design elements. Extend the duration of page three so we have room to hear the sound elements. 
open the audio tab and type intro into the search bar. Here you will find a selection of suitable sounds and beats for this type of design. Let's try this one. It sounds good, but I think we only need the first half. Find the section you don't want, then right click and select Split Audio, then delete the unwanted section. Now let's trim the start so the swoosh sound matches the transition. And let's select audio effects and set a 1.5 second fade out so the ending sounds natural. Now let's add another layer of intro music. This one fits nicely. Next, search for typing in the audio search field. Locate the start of the typewriter animation layer and place the sound effect in line with the beginning of that layer. Find the end of the animation, then trim the sound effect so it ends at the same time. You may need to adjust the volume if it sounds too low. Now let's add sound to the stroke line. If you play the audio, you will notice a reverse cymbal effect in the second intro track. To align the stroke with the sound, select the layer, then click on Show Timing. Crop the start point to the beginning of the cymbal sound, like so. For added effect, open the Audio tab and search for Pencil Write 6. Place the sample on the timeline, making sure to line it up with the start of the line stroke layer. Let's add one more empty page at the back and preview the whole arrangement. <laughs> 